Shelly McCain. Yeah, stand up. Stand up, Shelly. Well, uh, <clears throat> candidly, not a lot happened this weekend. Uh, I think we could all agree Tennessee continues to close the gap with Alabama. <laughs> Coach, when does, when does Alabama come back on the Vandy schedule? No. <laughs> well, if, if and when they do, just uh, you ought to make a note to yourself to call them the red team in practice. Apparently, it doesn't work. <laughs> I don't know uh, uh, how many of you here remember Wayne's World. Uh, party down Wayne, party down Garth. Well, for the Vandy folks here, uh, Coach Franklin, anchor down. <laughs> How many, uh, how many Vandy fans do we have here? Raise your hands. Okay, now, now, now keep them up. Keep them up if you're a Vandy fan. How many Vandy season ticket holders do we have here? Okay, that's, that's woeful. Every hand in the air ought to still be up if you're not a Vandy season ticket holder. It's a lot of fun to go to a Vandy football game. Um, but, you know, coming over here today... Uh, I heard a, a Dolly Parton song on, uh, on the air, and uh, you know, when I, uh, that got me thinking about the sort of weird juxtaposition of a fine academic institution in the town that gave us hee-haw. <laughs> For you Tennessee folks, juxtaposition means the placing of two objects in uh, near proximity. But, uh, but you know, when I think about Dolly Parton, I always think about two big things. <laughs> and of course, uh, that's country and western music. Uh, and we all know that, that Nashville, the capital of our great state, is the home of country and western music. And so uh, I started thinking about some of my favorite country and western songs and, and how they, they might sort of be applicable. Here tonight in honor of Coach Franklin being at the Touchdown Club. Um, first of all, how many of you read, well that's a stupid question, how many of you read the New York Times? Don't, don't even bother showing him. How many of you got a copy of Roy's article that he was passing out from the New York Times? Okay. Um, I, was, uh, I was just thinking about a famous country and western song that, that uh, kind of reminded me of that, Roy. Uh, if my nose was filled with money, I'd blow it all on you. <laughs> Just hearing about how you spend money on those parties and the, the occasional player uh, who you help. Uh, <laughs> but I wanted to, just in the time we have before, uh, before we get on with the prep player, I wanted to share some of my favorite country and western tunes uh, with you. Uh, this is one, frankly, that I think about when I when I see Bill Harbor. Uh, at the gas station of love, I got the self-service pump. Wow. Uh, get off the stove, Grandma, you're too old to ride the range. I gave her my heart and a diamond and she clubbed me with a spade. Uh, this is going to be a little tough for the Tennessee guys. Uh, I only miss you on the days that end in Y. I spent my last ten dollars on birth control and beer. I still miss you, baby, but my aim is getting better. I want a beer as cold as my ex-wife's heart. And this is a particularly tender love song that, that uh, 
you guys might want to listen to tonight when you go home with your honey. Uh, I'd rather pass a kidney stone than another night with you. <laughs> and for those of you who are not sure where your honey is while you're here tonight, uh, if fingerprints showed up on skin, wonder who's I'd find on you. <laughs> and just a couple more here. Uh, if you can't live without me, why aren't you dead? <laughs> he, he's got away with women, and he just got away with mine. <laughs> and uh, uh, where where is uh, Tommy Cooper? I saw him a minute ago. Tommy, you're over there someplace? The oh, behind the post. Amazing, that post can hide Tommy. <laughs> Uh, this is an Arkansas favorite. He went to sleep and the hogs ate him. <laughs> now Claude's gone forever. Uh, I can't pass the bar and there's one on my way home, sort of a lawyer's lament. And, uh, and finally here, and, and this is really, I think, my favorite, um, written, by a, written by a fellow named Scott Orr. I kissed her on the lips and left her behind for you. Thank you very much.